My name is Steve Sakala. I'm an assistant professor at the Harris School of Public Policy, and I study the economics of regulation, particularly in the U.S. electricity sector. The fundamental economics of the sector have changed substantially, and so we need to think about how regulations should catch up with that, or how regulations are impeding that transition uh, rather than help it move along. In the, the sequence of papers that I've been writing on the U.S. electricity sector uh, that required putting together all of this data, not just on the operations and demand, you know, at the hourly level of, of all of these plants, uh, but also their fuel prices. In the course of putting all of that together, I was able to learn something a bit about how firms respond to regulation just using the fuel prices. Historically, when an industry becomes deregulated, they're not opening their books to you anymore. Uh, so it's really tough to say, well, what happens to firms when they're deregulated? How does uh, regulation affect a firm's production costs? As soon as they're deregulated, you don't see anymore. And so this was a, a, a neat opportunity because the Department of Ac Energy actually continued collecting fuel prices on deregulated plants and their fuel is far and away the, the biggest expense of, of running a power plant. And so I was actually able to observe what happened to their costs when they became deregulated. And, and that helped answer a question, not just a matter of, you know, should we have more or less regulation, but actually what are the, the mechanisms that lead firms to uh, distort their costs when they're regulated one way or another. So my most recent work has been using the sort of lessons that we've learned in the electricity sector to say something uh, more broadly about forms of regulation in other sectors, in particular the, the U.S. healthcare sector, where there is a rule called the 80-20 rule that was part of the ACA that actually looks a lot like cost of service regulation. Coming to that with the background that I have studying energy topics really created the opportunity to look at this regulation in a somewhat different light than it had been studied before. Right now is an exciting time to be doing research in uh, energy and environmental topics because there's this sort of combination of really important problems that we need to solve. The availability of data to be able to actually provide convincing answers uh, and sort of set of natural experiments that allow us to sort of make credible statements about uh, things that we can learn. <laughs>